OK, here's another exciter circuit. I'm going to call this one the air feedback exciter. And it's quite an interesting circuit because the feedback for the transistor comes via an aerial through the air. Now, this is the aerial here. It's just a piece of bell wire connected to the base of the transistor. Now, the coils I'm using, we're using the large Slayer coils. This is the L1 here. And now you leave the ends open. Uh, if you want a large RF field and you can light fluorescent tubes wirelessly and all that business or you can connect each end to an AB plug and uh, have an LED string and you can do that at each end, that's the interesting thing. Uh, this is a 24K resistor, uh, that's the L2 coil which is wrapped around the base of this one here. Uh, MPSA06 transistor and I'm running on 4.5 volts today. So uh, that's the circuit. Now the circuit's running now but without the aerial attached. So this is the large coil and it's drawing 28 milliamps, 28 and a half milliamps and that's without the aerial attached. Now I can show you that there's no RF field whatsoever here. This is a, a blue LED in an AV plug, nothing at all. Now this is my aerial, it's just a piece of bell wire and uh, I'll put that into the base of the transistor. And we should have an RF field now, and we have. And the current draw has dropped down to 20, well, it's 27 milliamps. Now I can connect each end of this coil here to an LED string via an AV plug. So this is one end going into an AV plug here. So that's nine LEDs uh, lit by one side of the coil. And the other end of the coil is here. And, well, I'll just show you the, uh, the current draw. That's one side connected and it's 27 milliamps. So I'll connect the other side. Now there's nothing involved on this uh, circuit board here apart from these LEDs. This circuit here is not involved. So there's another nine lit. Current draw is still 27 milliamps. So we've got two strings of LEDs lit really brightly on four and a half milliamps. And uh, I just found that really interesting. The feedback for the transistor all depends on this piece of wire here. Now if I pull that out, the circuit dies, yet it still draws 27 milliamps. Put the wire back in, it lights up again and it's still drawing 27 milliamps. So that's the experiment for tonight. Thanks for watching.